team of scientists is hoping to get the attention of those world leaders in New York. They want to show off a dark side of climate change in the Arctic, which could have global effects. Duncan McHugh shows us what they're talking about. As far as the eye can see, this is what vast sections of Greenland's ice sheet looked like this summer. Not the snowy white north we imagine. And the glaciologist who recorded the images is sounding alarms. What happens in the Arctic doesn't stay in the Arctic. And that's because melting of Greenland will affect sea level rise around the planet. For two decades, Jason Box and his team have studied Greenland's ice. He's known for a while. Global warming is speeding up glacier melt. But this phenomenon, snow and ice darkened by soot, is happening faster than he ever imagined. Soot, also known as black carbon, is released when you burn dung, coal, diesel fuel, and wood. The soot, being black, absorbs more sunlight. Increased melting is the watery result. What almost certainly made things worse? Smoke from this year's unprecedented Arctic fires, drifting to Greenland via jet stream. And catastrophic wildfire is the new normal, says this wildfire expert. Fire has been increasing in Canada. It used to average about 1 million hectares, and now it's 2 million hectares. This doubling, we believe, is due to climate change, and we actually believe it's due to human-caused climate change. Scientists believe algae may also be a factor. Whatever the cause, it's clear the soot is contributing to an epic melt. This science message should be clear enough now to policymakers, decision makers, to forge policy that, it, that minimizes the risks from climate change. These images aren't something politicians can ignore, warns this climate scientist turned politician who's calling on the federal government to adopt carbon taxes. When I see pictures like this, it's, it's very troubling. And when I look around the legislature and see my colleagues not wanting to step up and deal with it, I wonder where their courage is. Jason Box's research has yet to be peer reviewed, but he released these images now, hoping world leaders at the climate summit will see them and act. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver.